Hey Car Pack, this is Justin Holiday of the Indiana Pacers. Welcome to the Sports Card Consultant Show. First of all, you better get my rookie card. It's going to blow up. Second, thanks for supporting the show and being awesome. Enjoy. Hey, what's going on, Card Pack? Today we are going to be doing the drawing for the NFL Prism Cello Pack giveaway. Um, also, later on in the content, we're going to do the top 10 sports cards that have gone up the most over the last week. So this will be across all the sports. We'll see who's going up the most, what sports are going up the most, stuff like that. You'll want to stick around and see it because it is pretty interesting. So now to the NFL Prism Cello Pack giveaway. <clears throat> we had 34 entries. All you needed to do to enter the contest was to leave a, a review on the podcast. We had 34 people do that. Um, I thought there'd be more, but thank you very much to the 34 that did it. No doubt. I appreciate it so much. You are awesome. Um, also, before we get into that, I want to remind you I have the Sports Card Society, where almost every day I send out an exclusive video to my members. Um, I dig deep into the research. I go deep into the weeds, and I find cars that I think are really undervalued and are about to go up. Uh, for instance, um, this Michael Jordan here, we were buying it in January for about 30 bucks. Here it is. It went for a high of about 140 bucks in February. This chipper here, went, we were getting it for about 75 bucks in January. Here it is going for about 140 in February, 170 even. Um, this Kobe here, we were getting January for 160. Um, we were getting it for, you know, then it went for like 500, maybe even 600 bucks. I'm not sure what this one exactly went for. Uh, we were getting this LeBron here for about 150 in January, and here it is in February going for 630 So a lot of good stuff to be had there. The link's in the description, sportscardsociety.com. It's only $12.99 a month or $129 a year. That's like $0.40 cents a day. I mean, that's nothing. Plus, you get access to the private Discord group, which is worth the cost of entry alone because the people in there are excellent, and they're serious sports card investors, and there's just a lot of – it's just an excellent community. That alone, being able to tap into that is is worth everything. And, I'm, and that's a community that I'm really proud of because, you know, you can go hop on free discords and stuff like that, but you just got a bunch of chumps in there, honestly. I mean, there's good people in there too, but there's a lot of chumps. You, you come into one where people actually, a discord where people are actually paying to be there, they're all legit and they're all nice and they're all helpful and they're all active, you know? So that that's really good. Again, only twelve ninety nine a month. Uh, you get a video almost every day. It's about five minutes. I show the card and I show all the research as to why I think the card's going to go up. And of course, you make your own decision. Um, but all right, let's dive into the Wheel of Names. Oh, quick though, uh, I have the Delta Factor course where I show you how I'm able to find these cards and identify them before they go up. A lot of value to be had there, plus bonuses I have with the Delta Factor. I mean, it's it's about eight videos, I think, seven, eight videos, about three, four hours of content. You also get a couple bonuses that I'm going to be taking away at some point. I just have them up there for now. You get a free month of the Sports Card Society and you get a year access to the private discord that that's a really big bonus um, but the content here is legit all right link for that in the description too all right let's dive into this let's pick it out again we had 34 entrants um, so let's go in here and we're going to spin the wheel so i did what i did is i just put one through 34 and we will see who that winner is because i'll just count down the list like this if it, number two comes up this will be the winner you know because one two three four five six we'll do it like that left to right top to bottom Spinning the wheel. Who we got? Who we got? What number, baby? Looks like we got number 23. Let's see who 23 is real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 23. There we go. So Atticus, 29. If you're watching this, Atticus29, I don't really have another way to get a hold of you, but Atticus29, send me a um, send me a, a message on Instagram or leave a comment on this video. But I'd suggest sending me a comment on Instagram because the, and the link for my Instagram is um, in um, in the description. So Atticus29, you are the winner of the NFL Prism Cellar Pack. Uh, get me your shipping info and I will send it out to you. All right, that was our winner. Let's dive into the content, ladies and gents. So here we go. We're in the Market Movers tool. I pulled up Price Movements by Card. I didn't select a sport, so we're going across all these sports, looking at just PSA 10s over the last seven days. So number one at the top, LeBron James 2018 
contenders up 161% on the week. That is that is interesting. That might be kind of suspicious that's so much. Let's take a look at the chart. Started the week at 43 bucks, had a high sale of 131, and then then a sale of 86, then a sale of 107. That's interesting. Pop count of only 331. I love these contenders cards. I really do. I actually think they're pretty underrated. I, I don't understand why they're not valued more than they are because they're just they're just cool cards, especially the rookie ones. Pop count only 331. Let's pull this card back like 30 days and see what we're looking at. <clears throat> but it looks pretty legit. Looks like this one just kind of started taking off. Kind of out of nowhere. This I don't know why the hell it went from 45 to 131, but there's been a couple sales since solidifying its value. Ah, that's just such a big spike so fast. Buy, sell, hold. Ah, is, this a refract, is this a refractor or something? I just... Um, I'm not in on this one. I mean, I like it. It's just, why why did it jump up so high so fast? That's just too suspicious to me, going from 45 to 131. I feel like this is due for a correction. That's that's just too much. That's just too much. Because it's been, you know, down here at 49, 50, 45, 50 bucks all this time, and it just jumps up to 130. That doesn't make sense. I, I'm, I'm not buying that. As a matter of fact, if I had that card, I would sell it. Because I probably got it down here at 45, 50 bucks. That's double plus my profit. I'm in. I'm out. Is what I mean, I guess. Um, let's go to number two on the list. Shohei Otani. 2018 tops Chrome up 64%. Dang. So that is that is a rookie. And Shohei's a guy that I've been touting for a bit because I just feel like he's really undervalued. You know, he underperformed, I guess, last year, but last year's a weird year, right? Let's pull that up again. And I just, you know, I still believe in him. Like, he can hit well. Of course, he can pitch, too. And, again, that's kind of strange. And we, we don't have someone, we, we almost never have someone that can do two things like that at such a high level. Mm, there's the card. up, Shohei? Throw that ball. Pop count of 24.56. Started the week at 82. Ended the week at 135 with a step up every single sale of the way. Let's pull this one back 30 days. Got some Shohei's I may be listed for sale now. So that thing started taking off. Here we go. 61, 82, 89, 107, 127, 135. Pop count of 24.56. Let's pull it up on eBay. It's listed for 104. There's an auction going on. It's already at 105. Let's uh, let's sort this one by price plus shipping lowest. Oh, that's an auction. Okay. I was going to say that would have been a great buy. 140. So it looks like 140, 139 are the lowest. What do you say that latest sale was? 135. So that's probably about right. Um, again, I, I like Shohei in, in general. I like baseball cards because I think they're just super undervalued compared to like basketball and football. And I think, especially with all kinds of things going on, like the PSA grading going up and everything like that, I think. That, that all these things, I think people are going to actually, people that hadn't done baseball before are going to shift into baseball. Because it's just, the price is just like, this is this is so low for a good a good young player like this. It's just, and this is across the board, even Tatis and Acuna and, and Soto and, and Lou Bob. They just, they're just seem undervalued. And Mookie Betts, good God, don't get me started on Mookie Betts. God, he's undervalued. Um... It's just, I think these are just going to go up because the, the there's going to be new people coming into the market. And they're just going to say, this is, why is this so cheap? This just seems cheap. Because when I first started getting back into baseball, that's exactly what I thought. I still think it. So with this one, with this Shohei, what do I think? Would I buy, sell, or hold this? I mean, we got, was it March? Mm. I think I hold it. I think I hold it. It's gone up so much. That I think I hold it. I don't know if I'm buying it. You could sell it too, because it's gone up so much. If you swung off cash out, I wouldn't hate it. Number two on the list, number three on the list now is another Shohei Otani, 2018 Topps Chrome update, up 57 percent on the week. Okay, maybe I maybe I'm more interested in buying because apparently we got two back to back Shohei's. The market's saying we want Shohei. Pop count is 791. So 
about what about a third of the actual tops chrome in the, in the, on the original tops chrome he's pitching and here on the update he's batting so this card started the week at 70 then had a sale of 83 then 85 then 95 then 110 interesting let's pull this up on ebay uh, there's not that many for sale 125 or best offer 129.99 what do we say that last sale was 109. Let's pull this one back 30 days. By the way, if you like this market movers tool that I'm using here, this is, I mean, this is the most important thing I use in sports card investing. No doubt about it. I mean, I say it all the time, but it really, 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 really is. And I don't know how you do sports card investing without it. I really don't because it's just, it's maddening to be able to organize data without something like this. Because you can't really see what's going on unless you, I can just see in front of me with click of a couple buttons. So I'll put a link for the market movers tool in the description. Use code SOCIETY for 20% off your first month or your first year, whichever subscription you choose. So here we are. Shohei on the 28th of February was at 49 bucks, and he's been going up ever since. To 70 bucks, 83 bucks, 85, 95, 110. I don't necessarily see this one slowing down. I'm going to put a link. I'm probably going to put a link in the description to both of these Shoheis now because for him coming up back-to-back like that, um... This is the first time he wasn't on this list at all last week. So he really seems to be on the come up. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. Like now I'm really interested in Shohei. I was already, but now I'm even more interested. And I'm feeling like, damn, I should have bought even more. And the season hasn't started yet. So I could see this still going up, and especially if he starts off well. So it's kind of how baseball goes. Like these cards will go up roughly until the season starts, which will be April 1st. And this is still early March. And if they start off well, the cards really go up. Um, and then, depending on how they do through the season, it's kind of the same thing. And one thing about baseball that's really interesting is they play so they play like every, they play literally every day, literally pretty much every day. And so they can affect their card prices every day. If they have a bad game, it can go down. If they have a great game, it can go up. It's really interesting in that way. Number four on the list, Aaron Judge. Now the baseball. So this is what I'm talking about. Like baseball is really really heating up. Aaron Judge, 2017. Tops um, up 52% on the week. I said, get some coffee there. Pop count of 3,006. Um, I feel like this was, where did, I think this was on the top 10 baseball cards going up that I did maybe a few days ago because I saw this card really recently. Had to be either this one or the baseball one. And I don't believe this was on, and by the looks of it, I don't think this was flying up last week. So it started the week at 130, then sale 125, then 160, then 130, then 192. Let's pull this one back 30 days. Aaron Judge, you know, good player. He's a Yankee. Overall, this card's been going up slightly over the last 30 days. Started at 150, went down to 120, had a low sale of 96, and now the most recent sale is the highest sale, 192. That's interesting. Let's pull that up on eBay. I don't know if I want to buy something when it just had its highest sale like that. Oh, 159. Oh. Okay, so latest sale was 192, and I'm seeing it here. The first one that pops up is 159. That is, that feels solid to me. Um, let's go. What's going on here? Let's try to sort this thing. Buy it now. Let's go. Over here, do let's do 145 just in case one of those pops up. I'm just putting it for you on the for those of you on the podcast. I'm sorting these right. Okay, so the lowest one I see is 150 bucks for the Aaron Judge. That's that's super interesting. One 150. There's another 150. Okay, I might be a buy on this one. I mean, here was a sale of 160 on the third. And then it went down to 130, and now the latest one's 192. I'm probably a buy on this one because this card hasn't really taken off yet, but it's been going up, and I'm seeing signs of it starting to take off. So I'm a buy on that one. Uh, the cards that I think that are worth taking a look at, the ones I, I claim to be a buy on, I'll put a link in for them in the description. So those two Shohei's and this Aaron Judge so far. This LeBron, I'm not buying that one. Um, Shohei, gosh, Shohei again. Uh, Shohei Otani, 2018 Bowman Chrome, up 47.8% on the week. So in the top five, Shohei is three of them. And this isn't baseball. This is all sports. 
Pop count of 910. Good looking card. I like Bowman Chrome. I really do. Started the week at 99, then had a sale of 132, then 81 somehow, and then 161, then 157 is the latest sale. Let's pull this one back 30 days. His card's just been steadily going up. That's a really good chart. 30 days ago, it was 55 bucks, and it's just been steadily going up. Wow, pretty damn good return. Let's go to eBay and see what we can find. 185, 165 are best offer. 149.90. No, that's not the right one. 160, 165 are best offer. Not a whole lot of them up for sale. Pop count of 910. I kind of would have thought I would have seen more. But latest sale was 157 and 161 before that. And the look at this chart. This might be my favorite Shohei chart of that we've seen because it's just nice and steady at going up here. I really like that one. Uh, because of what I'm seeing here. You know, I see a 165 or best offer. 176 even not that not even that bad. 185 or best offer. I, I like this. If I can get this for 165 or less, based on what I'm seeing here on this chart, I dig that. And I'd probably be looking to move it sometime around the beginning of the season or later in the season. But I I, I think this card just goes up until the season starts. So yeah, I think I think I'm a buy. God, I'm buying three Shohei's. That's Cray. Wow. He, I, but it's Cray that he's on this list. He's three of the top five. That's wild. All right, next Seku Seku. I don't. I just can't say his last name. Dumboya, Dumboya, Seku. Anyways, his 2019 Prism. That's up 42 percent on the week. Why I'm not 100 percent. I don't feel like he's. Maybe he's been playing more and I missed it. Started the week at 33, then it had a sale of 36, then this latest sale of 47. No, I'm not a buy on this. I can tell already. Pop count of 1531. I'll pull back 30 days real quick. Mm, no, not buying. I would, with that raise in price, I would sell it. I would sell it. I would sell it. Next on the list, Shaq, 92 hoops, up 40%. On the week, it's interesting because we saw a lot of Shaq rookie cards take a dip after that big run up, and now maybe they're going back up. The Soups card looks interesting. Pop count of twelve oh seven. Started the week at two seventy four, then had a sale of three twenty, then a sale of four eighty five. That one's suspicious. Then a sale of three fifty, then a sale of three eighty five. So I'm gonna not pay attention to that four eighty five. Um, let's pull this one back sixty days and take a look at it. See, it had that it had that big high, got up to six hundred bucks, and then it went all the way down to two seventy four, so about fifty percent. When when cards have a run up like that, um, they'll tip if they go down, they'll typically go down like forty to fifty percent. And then when they do that, like the market will say, no, that's enough. This is just too cheap. That card just a little bit ago was this much. I'm not, and the market won't let it go below that. And now it's starting to tick back up. So I can tell you right now, popcorn only twelve oh seven. That's, that's less than his tops, which I'm a buy on right now, by the way, because that one's went down about 50%, and I'm a buy on his tops because it was up to 1800 Now it's down to like 800 900 It's just, it, yeah, I'm a buy on that one. So it's Shaq, all-timer, Hall of Famer. Let's pull this up on eBay, see what we find. I'll get some coffee while it's loading. This The first Maniac we see, am I missing something here? The first Maniac we see has this card listed for $5,000. What a Maniac. Why are you even on here? Let's go let's sort this a bit and see what we find. $399, for 50 or best offer. So, yeah, the market knows this is going up. Last one was $385. Okay, $399 is not bad. That seems about right. I'd be buying it. $450, you can make an offer on it. $480. Four seventy nine, you can make an offer on. If I, could, I think if I could get this card for four hundred bucks or less, I'd feel pretty good about it. Think of this. Look at this listing. Very undervalued. I, I do agree, but like <laughs> putting that in your listing, I don't know. Does that help? I don't know. Yeah, but I agree. I agree. It's pretty undervalued because it was just look on the nineteenth of February. It was six hundred dollars. 
And right now you're telling me I can get it for like 33% off. Um, because it's Shaq. It's not some fly by night player. So I'm a buy. I'm a buy on this. This is an all timer. Um, his card seems to be on sale. A decent pop count. I'm a buy. LeBron 2019 Optic Blue Velocity up 38%. I'm not the biggest fan of these Lakers LeBrons. Maybe I'm a little jaded because I've been burned by these, you know, and that's why I'm here to tell you, like, watch out on these ones. Um, They can go up, but they can go down fast too, and sometimes they do not recover. Pop count of only 404 is a pretty cool card. I'll give it that. That blue velocity is pretty cool. Started the week at 126. Then went up to 173, then to 175. But there's only three data points. It's pulled back 30 days. Isn't this market movers cool? Market movers tool, cool. You got to have it. Link in description. Use code society, 20% off first month, first year. So this card's been relatively flat, and now it's kind of starting to jump up a bit as we get into the second half of the season, it looks like. But there's not enough data points for me to really... Because I feel like this card could just go right back down here to 126 like nothing. Because that's what it does. I mean, look at this. Although I think that's probably a bullshit sale. That 227 right there back on the 8th of February. I think that's a, a BS sale that probably didn't actually go through. Let's pull this up on eBay. 160. I just, I just don't. It's not even his first Lakers optic. It's just a because 2018 was his first year of optic in the Lakers jersey. Mm, 100, 100, 160 bucks was the latest sale. 175. I just don't. I don't believe it. I don't. No, I'd sell it. I would sell it. I would sell it. Next on the list, another Aaron Judge, 2017 Bowman. Up 35%. And it's just crazy to me. Because this card, the latest sale, I mean, we'll look here, but I think it was only like 70 bucks. It's a PSA 10. Pop count 2766. It's a Bowman, so it's a paper card. Looking like he's about to hit a homer. Started the week at 51, then to 66, then to 57, then to 125. I think this is a not a real sale. I think this one probably didn't actually go through, so I'm going to ignore that one. So then to 69, then to 76. So it's a nice steady trend up over the week. Nothing crazy. I'm going to ignore that big pop there because I think that's kind of not true. It's been pretty flat. And now, see here it was, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. So it was 51 on the 2nd of March, then 66, then 57, then 69, then 76. Pop count of 27, 66. I might be a buy on this one. So I'm just I'm just really high on baseball cards right now this time of year. Let's sort this. See what we can find. These auctions are going on. I mean, this auction here's got 5 days left. It's already up to 51. 75 or best offer would we say that latest one sold for? 76. You can get this for 75 or best offer. Make an offer 99 or best offer. I'm a buy. If you can get this one for under 80 bucks, I think this is a buy. So I'll leave a link to the ones that I like in the description again. Because they'll have this nice, like, refined search up here. You know, so you don't have to sort through all this stuff. It'll actually just make it easier for you to find it. I'll leave links to them in the description. Carson Wentz, 2016 Prism Silver, up 35% on the week. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Morning coffee is just so good. I drink decaf, by the way. I don't even drink. I don't even care about caffeine. I've never liked it. It always just makes me shaky. It doesn't actually wake me up. It just makes me uncomfortable. Carson Wentz. God, he was like, you really thought he was going to be the next guy, but last year was just so, so, so bad. But he's got a fresh start in Indy on a, with a really good offense, probably the best offensive line in the NFL. This card started the week at 392, then had a sale of 433, and the latest sale is 530. Pop count of 642. Let's pull this one back. 30 days. See where she's been. Yeah, here's that big run up from when he got traded in early February. So it was up to 700 bucks. Then it went down. It looks like it hit a floor of 392, which is really interesting because before that run up, it was going for 450. So that is interesting. 
latest sale of 530. No wonder it started going back up. Let's let's pull it up. I don't I don't know if I'm a buy on this one. Although I like buying football cards this time of year because they, they can't get hurt. And like as we get closer and closer to the football season, football cards just tend to go up. Like free agency is the beginning of the um is the first real thing that happens in the off season. And that starts in like I think it's next week. Not this week. I think it's next week. And that's going to start bringing more attention to football. And then shortly after that's going to be the combine, which is going to be different this year than usual. And then, you know, after that's going to be the NFL draft. And then after that is more, it's just the, the attention and the media on the NFL is going to be ramping up starting basically now. Well, no, probably next week is when it'll really start going up because free agency, like that's the first real thing get people active now let's this is sorted by that all right let's go to buy it now though see what we can find carson 472 god you're gonna make me i thought i I just thought it's gonna be a hold on this but if you can get it for 472 that doesn't even make sense i mean this one here was 433 and then this one's 530 so i wouldn't necessarily want to buy it for 530 but 472 See, so I'll put a link in the description for you to go check this out if you want, just because of this one listing right here. Because that one seems to be a buy for me for all the elements there, but I would be looking to sell it before Carson Wentz ever takes a snap. You know what I mean? That's exactly what I mean. Uh, And it looks like Carson Wentz was the end of the list. So that's what we got. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button and hit the, and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, and smash that like that bell so you get notified of when these come out because timing is everything. Uh, this Market Movers tool, I'll leave a link for it in the description. Use code SOCIETY for 20% off your first month of your first year. Um, I'll leave links in the description for the cards I think that are worth taking a look at, you know, like some of these Shohei's, Aaron Judges, and uh, Shaq and stuff. Um, also, the Delta Factor. I mean, if you want to learn how I'm able to find cards like like this LeBron here in January and then sell it in February for 630 this Kobe here in January for 160 and sell it for you know 500 in February if you want to learn how I find that stuff and how I know that's how I predict that's going to happen get the Delta factor plus the bonuses you get a free month of the society and a year of the discord and of course the sports card society if you want to get the cards like this emailed to you every day um, in videos showing the pick and then showing all the research as to why and of course the private discord group um, and if you won the, if you are um, Atticus twenty nine, send me a message so I can and, so you can give me your info so I can send this out to you, okay? And you'll have to prove that you're Atticus twenty nine. So don't be getting fishy ideas, some of you out there. Atticus, you're gonna have to prove to me that that's your account. You're gonna have to send me a screenshot or something of your account. Um, but then uh, give me your info and I'll send that out to you. Other than that, you know, card pack. Thank you for watching. You are super awesome. Stay classy.